The basement of Eastbourne Town Hall is a place of unsolved mysteries. For decades, the remains of 300 unidentified bodies have been stored here. Then, in 2012, archaeologist Joe Seaman set out to discover who one of them was. The story behind this woman did take us on such an unexpected journey. And one that I couldn't help getting emotionally caught up in. There were few clues to go on. Her remains had been found more than a century ago in the seemingly tranquil village of East Dean, near Beachy Head in Sussex. As Joe found out more about her, he saw that she was going to change the way the village saw itself. Not only is she a big story in herself, but it's making us rethink the history of this area of Sussex as well. What are the techniques available to you to try and find some more information? The first techniques to look at radiocarbon-14 dating. It was very successful because her bones are in fairly good condition. And we got a solid Roman date. Uh, a Roman date? A Roman date, yeah, between 125 and about 240 AD. A Roman find in this area was unexpected. But did she come here, or was she from here? To find out, Joe used a technique called isotope analysis. By examining the chemicals in the teeth, uh, chemicals that are picked up in food and in water, they're then absorbed into the tooth enamel, and they can be traced. So it's almost like a geographical fingerprint, and the great news was that that geographical region was right here, the Eastbourne area. So she, she had lived in Eastbourne? She had lived and grown up in this area of Chalk Downland in the southeast of Britain. She became known as Beachy Head Woman. And Joe had one last trick up his sleeve to help identify her. He called in a forensic pathologist to reconstruct her face. This is Beachy Head Woman, yes. The biggest surprise of them all was that it was clear that she was actually sub-Saharan African in origin. So she's a black Briton? Yes, yes. And the, as far as we know, the earliest black Briton. So she's the same as me? She's somebody who is, who is both, but who spent their life in this country? Yeah. just. 1700 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> That's just incredible. It is. 